right now we're going to talk about some eigenvalue review. And this is important in control systems because we'll be doing some state space analysis of systems later on. And we use a lot of linear algebra and matrices to do this kind of analysis. So, to find an eigenvalue, the basic equation is here. So we use the determinant of, and you want to take lambda, and there'll be, depending on the dimension of your matrix, there might be multiple eigenvalues, times the identity matrix, and then minus A, which is the matrix that you're solving. Okay? Is that all equal to zero? I'll note this is the way our textbook does it, but you can also flip these values, so this is equivalent to pretty much the same thing. If you want to use A minus lambda I big I identity matrix equals zero, these are 100% equivalent. Let's pick a value. Let's pick a matrix. We'll go with two. 2, 5, negative 1. So here's our matrix. In a system, this represents different dynamics within the system. We'll get to that later, but this is, you know, once you've uh, gotten your system into a state space, we'll have a nice matrix like this. Now we can do some analysis. So now let's try to find the eigenvalues for this matrix. Okay, so we plug it into our formula, so we take the determinant. Now we're going to do lambda times the identity. So we'll have lambda here, 0, 0, lambda here. That's the first part. We'll subtract A. The matrix here is 2, 2, 5, negative 1. Great. Want this all equal to 0. Okay, so we need to solve this more. So let's Put these two matrices together, subtract them. Alright, so we will get and the i minus 2, a minus 2 here, a minus 5 here, and a lambda i plus 1 here, right? That all equals 0. Alright, so now we have to take the determinant, and I just remember it's like a a little crisscross, so this times this minus this times that. And so let's write that out. And the i minus 2, and the i plus 1, and then minus 10. All equal to 0. So we'll need to expand this expression out. So we'll do that. Squared. So minus 1. Lambda i, and then we'll apply these two together. So we get minus 2, and then add on this quantity. Okay? Simplify all this. So now we end up with this expression down here. And what we want to do is figure out where we can go from here. Sometimes in nice equations like this one, you can figure out what this will break down into very easily. If you can't figure out this, you'll have to use the uh, quadratic formula to figure out the values of these statements, these eigenvalues. Luckily, this one works out, so we can see that this breaks down into a negative 4 here, a positive 3 here. And so our eigenvalues are whatever values this would be, these lambdas, to make this expression 0. So I'll write it up here. So we say lambda 1 is equal to 4, lambda 2 is equal to negative 3. So these are our two eigenvalues for this expression. And later on in controls, we'll look at these values. We'll see if they're real, positive, negative, imaginary, and they're going to help us understand the system dynamics. So for now, that's our basic review.